Welcome to the tutorial to learn tips and tricks on using the TV application. Go ahead and click on the TV application icon. If your account is active, you'll always see this blue screen and this yellow bar loading. The first time the application opens, a random channel might start playing. If you click the back button on your remote, it will come back to the list. If you click the back button once more, you'll come back to the home screen. You'll see the TV section that we're currently on. This has all your live broadcasting content. And then to the right, you have the video club section. This video club section is where all your video on demand content would be stored, such as Netflix content, Apple Plus, Amazon Prime, Hollywood movies, TV shows, you name it. It's all going to be here. And in this section, you can fast forward, rewind, play, pause, etc. You'll see that there's other applications such as YouTube, Settings, Media Browser, but we don't use these. The only sections we use are the TV and the Video Club section. Within the TV, if you scroll up or down, you can go through English, Kids, Sports, All. There's also other languages that you can add, so be sure to let your provider know if you need another language. Go ahead and click on English. When it opens, you'll see a list that comes up in a small video screen on the right side. So you can go up or down within this section to, um, to kind of scroll through different channels. Uh, some channels you'll see underneath this, the mini screen on the right, uh, it will show kind of what's upcoming for different times. If you click and hold the up button or click and hold the down button, it will go up and down faster. To pick a channel, all you have to do is scroll up or down and click on a channel that you like. In this case, we'll click on HBO. And you'll see on the right side that uh, preview screen comes up. Um, click another one, another preview screen comes up. As you can see, there's many channels to choose from. They're currently being sorted by uh, numerical order, but we will sort later uh, by alphabetical order and by favorite, which uh, we will get to shortly. To make a channel full screen, all you have to do is click on it an additional time. So for example, we'll click on Hallmark Movies and click once more and it will go full screen. To exit the full screen, all you have to do is click the back button on your remote and it will go back to the list that we were at. We're going to go ahead and try the green button, which is the sort button. As you recall, we programmed those buttons. So if you click and hold the rewind button, the sort button will come up and you can scroll between number, title and favorite. Let's click on title and you'll see that uh, the list is sorted now alphabetical order. Just makes it a little easier to to find what you're looking for for example if you're looking for something you know in the m's like movies um, you know you can see here that we're scrolling through m's uh, it's a little easier than scrolling through the, the the numbers of the channels so you can always try this next we'll test out the yellow button which is the favorite button as you can see at the bottom of your screen so click and hold the play pause button on your remote and you will see that this channel will become a favorite We'll go down and try it again. Click and hold the play pause button and you'll see all these channels are becoming favorited. We can then sort the list by favorites only. Uh, this way, if you've favorited a bunch of channels, it's a little easier to find what you're looking for. So if you go ahead and uh, click and hold the rewind button and we'll sort by favorite, you can see that the channels we just favorited are in the list. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and sort again by clicking and holding the rewind button and you can sort by title, and now all of the channels are back on our list. So it's very easy to use. You can scroll up or down and find what you're looking for. Let's try to unfavorite them. If, if you want to unfavorite, you just click and hold the play pause button again, and it will unfavorite the channels that you've just favorited. As I mentioned earlier, some of the channels have what's upcoming underneath the mini screen on the right side there. So what we'll do is we'll scroll up and uh, we'll just click on uh, Lifetime Channel here, and you'll see below the screen uh, what's upcoming for the next five hours or so. Click the right arrow on your remote. You'll see TV Guide uh, is displayed. Uh, so you'll see some more times on what's upcoming, and you'll see down below uh, a quick synopsis or summary of what's uh, occurring during that time. If you click the back button, we'll come back to the list here. Click the back button to get back to the home screen. We'll go into the Kids section. As you can see, there's many kids' channels. You can just scroll up or down through them. It's still sorted by alphabetical order, and that will remain default uh, if you do set it like that. 
So you, here you can see Disney channels, cartoons, Discovery Family, and many other channels that your children will love. We'll go ahead and click the back button and that will bring us back to the home screen. Let's go into the sports section. Same thing, as you can see, everything is sorted by alphabetical order. In this section, there's uh, 368 channels as of today. Um, pretty much every sport you can think of watching, you can watch it in here. Everything from horse racing to tennis to, you know, Euro European soccer. We'll go ahead and scroll down through some of them. There's major broadcasting uh, companies on here too, such as ESPN, Sportsnet, TSN, uh, even UK channels as well. Um, same thing goes for here. You just click on the channel and it will, will go full screen. Uh, click the back button to come back. You can see right now there's all the FIFA World Cup channels are here. Um, Fox Sports. Uh, there's also pay-per-view sports such as UFC pay-per-view. Uh, many people pay for that just to watch one fight. That's all included with our subscription. Um, so yeah, there's lots to watch. As you can see, everything is very, very good quality. Uh, to make favorites, uh, you do the same thing. Click and hold the play pause button. Uh, many channels uh, also have uh, team channels. Uh, for example, you'll see all the MLB teams here. Same goes for, for hockey, NBA. Um, However, when you do go to watch a game, we always recommend that you watch it on a major broadcasting uh, station, such as ESPN, Sportsnet, TSN, um, as uh, those, those are more prioritized versus the team channels. Um, however, it's up to you. You can really choose whatever channel you'd like. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, also there's Sky Sports. Uh, that's a UK uh, sports channel. Let's go ahead and sort by favorites again. By clicking and holding the rewind button, you can sort by favorites here. We'll click the back button and get back to the home screen. Let's go ahead and uh, discover the video club section by scrolling over to the right. Let's scroll down to the English content. You'll see there's English movies latest. English movies collections, English documentaries, TV shows, kids movies, and kids nursery rhymes. So let's scroll up and let's go into movies latest. As you can see up at the top there, they're sorted by ad time. Every day movies are being uploaded. Uh, so we'll just scroll through here. You'll see on the right side there, there's an image of the cover as well as some uh, little information about the movie. Uh, if you click the right arrow, you'll, you can go into it uh, about the movie and uh, uncover some more information about the movie such as the summary or synopsis as well as the cast uh, so click the right arrow you'll see here there's a summary and synopsis to get back to the list uh, you just click the back button and it will go back to the list right arrow again we'll go over into about movie so as you can see it's got a lot more information here within the video club section uh, when you do click the, the sort button there's a lot more information um, that you can sort by, such as ad time, uh, by rating, by title, by favorite, by not ended. It makes it easier to search for titles. Let's go ahead and sort by favorite only. You'll see there's uh, four titles here that have already been favorited. Let's click and you'll see it uh, go full screen. And just click the back button and we'll go back. So after you've started playing some movies, you can also sort by uh, not ended and it will provide a list of some of the movies or films or TV shows that uh, you haven't finished yet. Let's go into English Movies Collection. As you can see, it's still sorted by not ended. So what we have to do is sort by title or by add time, and it will refresh the list and uh, the full amount of titles will be here. As you can see in the collection section, there is about 15,000 films. Uh, same goes here. Just scroll over to the right and you'll see a synopsis there. Um, so again, 15,000 movies here, about 4,000 movies in the, the latest section, so just shy of 20,000 films as of right now, but uh, there are more and more being uploaded. Let's go into TV shows. It's also sorted by ad time. Every day, TV shows are being uploaded. Um, it takes about 12 to 24 hours for episodes to be uploaded and available. Um, when you click on each one, it will ask you which episode you're um, wanting, wanting to choose. If you click the down button, it will sort between one series or continuously. Uh, so let's go to continuously and click OK. 
and it will um, allow you to continue to watch the next episode at the end uh, without having to go back to the list and click which episode you want to play. Uh, so continuously is best for when you want to binge watch uh, a bunch of episodes of a show. In the video club section, you can fast forward, pause and rewind all content. Uh, so that makes that handy when watching TV shows and films. Let's go ahead and click the back button and go back to our list. Always try to remember how you sorted the list. So currently it's being sorted by ad time. We're now going to sort by not ended. So you can see the two shows that we started watching there. Let's click the back button and go back to our list and we'll go up to English Movies Collection. I want you to test out your search button by clicking and holding your fast forward button. Click search. At this point, there's no keyboard displayed, so what we'll do is click and hold the select button, scroll down and click keyboard. At this point, you can start typing uh, something to look for, such as a title or a cast member. Um, you need three characters to start to sort the list in behind. Uh, so let's look for Forrest Gump. So the more we type, the easier it is to find. Once you're getting closer to finding the title you're looking for, you will start to see it in behind. At that point, you can click the back button. Click it once more to cancel, and you can see that Forrest Gump is displayed there. Just click it, and it will play full screen. So just like the TV shows, you can fast forward, play, rewind. Uh, so that wraps up everything uh, needed to use the system. To exit the system and get back to the Amazon Fire TV homepage, all you have to do is click the home button on your remote. Thank you very much for watching our video and we hope this helped.